before I show you this one say that none of these are actually in any specific order I can't possibly choose from any of these and you know the bottoms of the list maybe fluctuate a little sometimes you know just basically just take this what they are these are my 10 favorite movies that's it one such movie no country for old men now this movie surprised me I went to see it alone in the theater at night yeah I know I'm a loser no one goes see it with me anyway it's a really a great movie I didn't really expect to like it I was kind of feeling an artsy mood and you know it's got incredible tension and drama the end I won't spoil it but is not necessarily the best but it, re it really makes you think it's got a kind of a somber tone to it throughout the movie you got some really tense action sequences when they do happen Javier Bardem excellent excellent actor as Anton Chigurh really got a great character development in the story it's an excellent story if a little simple but still great just a beautiful use of cinematography I can't say enough about this movie this is a fantastic movie if you can take the tone then you know what this is this is just you, want, you, you can't miss this movie incredible dialogue to top it all off oh yeah Wally. New a new movie admittedly but Pixar has always been a very deep, near and dear to my heart Wally is no exception. Incredible animation, absolutely astounding emotionally. Wally in particular, other characters somewhat so also, but just Wally is a great character. He's cute. He's lovable. You can sympathize with him. You never feel like he's just a barren an or barren pixel. And I actually particularly like the story in this, not only just because of Wally's little adventure, it's cute and fun and all that, but also because there's kind of a dark side to it with the ecologies and kind of the end or post-apocalypse and it, I mean I don't want to get too heavy this because this is what we were talking about but it's a really fantastic movie. The story is great. Tons of 2001 references which is pretty amusing and it's just a really great kids movie, a really great movie for adults. This is a movie if you like animation you should see it. It may not be your favorite. It was personally one of mine. It's a great movie. The music is even particularly good. Love it. How it ends with the down to earth, great song. Really sums it up. Even the credits were entertaining. Starship Troopers. Now you know this is a movie I know I'm gonna get bashed for. This is not an amazing movie. It's a great sci-fi movie. Don't get me wrong, but there's not a good plot, really. It's really s silly. It knows it's silly though, and because it, it, it's a in-your-face kind of referential humor, it, it, it's amusing. And then, I mean, there's not good characterization, but it's a little long, but you know what? This is just a kick-ass movie, man. I just bought it on Blu-ray recently. And you know what? Those effects hold up. Like, seriously, the effects in the 90s, Jurassic Park, Starship Troopers, god damn, they look good. But anyway, this is a movie you watch for the action. This is a movie, it's all about giant bugs invading Earth. It's the stupidest plot you've probably ever heard. But it is a really funny movie. It is... A really action-packed movie and the effects are fantastic. If you like sci-fi movies, you like war movies, this is a movie you've got to see. Another Pixar movie. What can I say? I like animation. The Incredibles is one of the best. This is a movie that has really fun characters. It's got some great character development, especially on the part of Mr. Incredible himself. It's fantastic. The villain is fantastic and he's funny. I can't stress enough how much fun this movie is. You're having fun while watching it. It's action packed. It has a great story. And the effects are still good. The animation, you can tell that it's a little older, but it still holds up quite good. Not quite as good as Wally, of course, but can't be. You can't expect it to be. It's just a lot less new. But this is a movie you really, if you like Pixar, if you like superhero movies, this is this is one of the best superhero movies ever made. I'm not even being superfluous here. This movie holds a 95 plus rating on Rotten Tomatoes, and for good reason. This is a fantastic movie, one way or another, animated or not. You really want to see this movie. Even the music is just incredibly heroic. Repo, the genetic opera, darkest musical I've ever bloody seen. Quite appropriately, too, because this is probably one of the bloodiest movies you will likely see. Outside of the Saw series, which is ironically from the same director. I would never think that I would like anything else from that director, but here I am, the music is great, it is loud, it is pulsing, it is emotive, you want to scream it out at the top of your lungs. This has a really good story for a musical, actually, I was quite surprised, watch the trailer, go see it. It's actually just playing recently, and you know what, this is really a movie that deserves a wider release. It may not get a lot of money, but this is a movie that's going to appeal to a really cult audience, they love it or hate it, 
but the people who do like it are going to love the shit out of it. This is a fantastic movie. The characters especially, Polly Largo, I get a total kick out of. The feminine rapist who steals women's faces like a postmodern fan of the opera. It is fantastic. I cannot say enough about this. This is probably, this is easily one of my favorite musicals and easily one of my favorite movies. Oh boy, a Korean revenge thriller came out in 2003. This is easily one of my favorite movies, just like before. And you know what, this movie, incredible story. I did not see it coming. Holy crap, that twist was incredible. And it hits me every freaking time. The ending, ambiguous, but in the best possible way. The characterization for, for the Odesu, the main character, incredible. Like I said, the main reasoning behind the story is it's all building up to this one big mystery. If any of you see it coming, you're fucking geniuses, because seriously, I don't... It, it strikes me as near impossible to predict. It's based on original Japanese manga, but this is not a comic movie. This is a violent, dark, gritty thriller. If you like the... Well, this is going to be an overgeneralization, but if you like the Dark Knight and its side, this is much the same movie, except without the superheroes. It is... It's, bas it's basically the Count of Monte Cristo in modern day totally revitalized. This is a great movie. Lost in Translation is one of those movies I picked up entirely on the or on a whim, solely because Bill Murray was in it, and you know what? It turned out to be a great selection. First off, the music in this movie is absolutely spectacular. It's taken from a bunch of sources. It's not orchestral. It's all music with lyrics, band music, but it fits the tone perfectly, and I cannot say how beautiful this movie is. The cinematography is great, the mood, it's kind of lazy, romantic mood, but you never really feel as if you're being, having your schmaltz shoved down your throat, like so many other romances. This is a movie about finding yourself, it's got deep messages, but it's got a lot of humor, a lot of cultural humor. Bill Murray is a fantastic actor, it's, I don't see why people can't see this sometimes. You know, he started in Ghostbusters, but he's so much more than that. And Scarlett Johansson, equally as good. This is just a really great movie, and, it, and you know what? It helps to watch it late at night with your by yourself. Sounds kind of lonerish, but it really helps. It helps ambience of the movie. It makes the ending more powerful. And this is this is one of those movies that a lot more people should have seen. I'll admit it. I'll say it up front. Donnie Darko is a fairly pretentious movie, but you know it has the credentials to back up its pretentiousness. It has got a lot to it. And it's a very confusing movie, I'll give it that. It took me a long time to understand it. And when the director's cut came out, I would understood it at that point, but it gave me a whole new perspective on it. It was really neat to see the extra things in it. And for my mind, director's cut's better than the original cut, although I do dislike a few of the musical changes. It is overall a better movie, and this is just a really interesting, deep science fiction story. A really real science fiction story. But also got an elements of mysticism to it that I don't think can even be explained. I don't think they're supposed to be explained. Jake Gyllenhaal, incredible in this movie. I don't think he's a fantastic actor, or actor otherwise, but in this movie he shows that he can at least do it on occasion. Richard Kelly, the director, I'm a big fan of him. All period music, all great music, all fitting. Characters, some of them are a little stilted, but you know, this is a very funny movie, it's a very dark movie, it's a very intelligent movie. If you like intelligent sci-fi, this is a good movie. Don't be scared off by the goth crowd that's obsessed with it. This movie has something behind all the hype. Easily my favorite musical. This is far and away an incredible story, a dark story. It is over the top, but in the best possible ways. It has got some really frightening, chilling scenes, even for a musical. The music slowly ravels upon itself, building tension, even without the actors having to act, which, by the way, they do quite well. Johnny Depp, Alan Rickman, Helena Bonham Carter all perform their roles marvel marvelously and you know what I, I i've seen the original stage play this this i think was actually better than it i did not like george hearn's voice of before but i think johnny depp did a good role of it maybe not the po most powerful voice but definitely moving and you really felt it and right from the opening credit sequence you knew this was going to be something different and this is rightfully regarded as one of the best stage to movie musical adaptations of all time go see it if you love musicals it's great because I don't want to go over the limit. I have a lot to say about this movie. Basically, the music is perfect. The story is perfect. Only gets better with age. The stop motion animation is incredible. And this is a movie. It's perfect for children, adults. It gets better as you grow old. I cannot ask for a better movie in a shorter running time. The perfect movie. That's all I have to say.